So, I want to start this video off by saying thank you. I want to thank you guys for all of the support that you have been showing me over the last couple of days, all of the continued support that you show me on the daily. Like, seriously, you don't even know how much that means to me, so just thank you times a thousand. I feel like I don't get to thank you guys enough, and that's why I wanted to thank you again here today for everything. Uh, thank you for the views going back up, thank you for the growth here on the channel again, it just really means so much to me because for the longest time, the views have been declining on the channel. I haven't really been growing much, but lately again, you guys have kind of sparked a flame and things have been looking really positive again. And I'm just so grateful for that. I feel like once again, I actually have a purpose. Uh, for the longest time, I've been pretty down. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I kind of felt like for the longest time, my channel was kind of dying, you know, and I didn't want to think that. I didn't want to believe that. So that's why I continued to fight. That's why I continued to post videos every single day. And uh, once again, you guys are giving me a purpose. You guys are giving me a reason to want to keep fighting for my dreams and just I couldn't be more grateful and thankful for all of you. Uh, you guys are not just my subscribers, you guys are my friends, you guys are my family, and I value you guys more than you guys may think, you know? I don't want you guys thinking you're just views or just numbers to me because that's not true at all. You guys are seriously so much more and I take so much time out of my day just to reply to you guys even outside of YouTube. I talk to you on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and it's because I want you guys to know that I care about you and I don't want you guys to think that you know, uh, you're only good enough to reply to on my videos. And I'm gonna be honest, I've said this for the longest time, I never thought I would make it this far on YouTube, I never could have imagined getting close to 21,000 subscribers, I never imagined even hitting 1,000 subscribers, it just all seemed like a fairy tale, a fantasy, something that could never happen to a person like me, because I've never been anybody special in my entire life. I was never the cool kid in school. I was never the kid people were lining up to be friends with, you know? I was just never that cool person. I was never valued. I was always overlooked by people, and even to this day, I'm still overlooked, but honestly, you guys give me, you know, a purpose. You guys make me feel like I actually matter. You guys actually make me feel like I'm a human being, you know, because a lot of people in this world has made me feel otherwise, you know? and I just couldn't be more thankful. There's nothing I would rather be doing in this entire world than sitting right here in this chair in front of this camera, spending hours and hours and hours and hours of my time making videos because this is what I love doing. Uh, I know my videos have helped so many people. I've had so many people tell me that I've gotten them through such bad times and uh, you know, by hearing that, that just makes me feel so good and that makes me want to continue doing this. That makes me want to continue to keep fighting because I know out there what I'm saying and what I'm doing here on the channel is actually having an impact on people. And to me, that's the greatest thing. That's the greatest accomplishment that a person could achieve is having a huge impact on people. And um, I'm just so, so very grateful. And I just wanted you to know that again. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, sorry for that huge rant. I just wanted to stress things and let you guys know that you are important to me. But anyways, what's going to be happening in this video is I will be finally pressing my luck with the King of Kings pack. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this. I actually didn't think I was going to, you know, buy this or try this out. But I was like, you know what? I might as well. I have 500 credits just laying here. I did blow through most of my credits yesterday opening up all of those inducted packs, which were, I guess, kind of worth it because at the end of the day, I did get myself that Scott Hall, so that was pretty cool, but it was kind of more credits than I was hoping to spend, you know? But anyways, this is what I have left over, and I figured might as well spend my last 500-some credits on this King of Kings pack or game or whatever you want to call it to see if I could actually get some WrestleMania 36 cards. If you guys don't know how this works by now, I'm sure most of you do, but if you don't, uh, you pick up to nine cards from a draft board. The first is guaranteed. Uh, it starts off from SummerSlam 18 to WrestleMania 36, so odds are very low of getting something good. And then you continue for a chance at up to eight other cards, and 
and uh, you pick cards until you reach the cap or run into an obstacle. So I'm hoping that I don't hit that obstacle early on because that would kind of suck. Now, along with me doing the King of Kings, I also have some other things going on here in the video as well. I have another two NWO fusions to feature for you guys. One is actually pre-recorded and I have one to open up here in real time for you guys as well. And I'm hoping I could get Scott Hall here today from this because if I do, that will be a pro since I did buy all of those inducted packs yesterday and got the first Scott Hall. So I am hoping to score the pro here today from this pack. That would be super awesome. So we will see if that happens. And I do have the team ring domination rewards to claim. I have the Otis WrestleMania 36 card and also the Royal Rumble card as well. And as you guys can see, we are working on the Vanguard Kofi Kingston, but I don't think we're going to get it. I think they were just playing just for fun, you know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the story there and what's happening in the video. But before I get into doing this stuff, of course, make sure if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this video to smash that like button. It would really mean so much to me if you could like up the video. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. We are getting so close to 21,000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe, that would really mean so much to me. And, you know, it really helped me get to 21,000 subscribers a lot faster. So please subscribe if you could. And don't forget to also turn on the notification bell as well to join the nullification squad which of course is one of the coolest supercard squads here on youtube but anyways guys with that all being said now let's finally dive into the supercard action we're gonna start this off here with my nwo fusion for scott hall and we're gonna see if i could actually get scott hall here today so here we go with this right now and it does not happen. I get myself a Neon Rey Mysterio. Darn it, you gotta be kidding me. And this next NWO Fusion, this pre-recorded one, was for Kevin Nash. So let's get into reacting to this right now. And let's see if I actually got Kevin Nash. You guys ready for this? Here we go. So as you guys could see, I did not get Kevin Nash here. I got another stupid Neon. And it was Shinsuke Nakamura. So I haven't been having much luck with these at all. As for a lot of people, I know a lot of people haven't been having uh, too much luck with these. And it's really annoying. Like, the chances of actually getting a Scott Hall or a Kevin Nash is probably like a 0.1% chance. I'm not even kidding. It, the odds are so low of actually getting one of those cards from these packs. And it's pretty crappy. All right, so coming up next, let's get into claiming these team ring domination rewards. All right? You guys ready for this? Here we go with this pack in three, two, one. All right, so there's the Royal Rumble, Big E. And now for the WrestleMania 36, Otis. There he is, baby. All right, pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. All right, and now moving into that King of Kings pack slash game mode slash whatever. Let's dive into this, guys. Will this be a waste of 500 credits? That's the question, and we are about to find out. So here we go. All right, so uh, let's pick this one. Okay, I get a Shattered Nikki Bella there. That's crappy. Now for the next one. All right, I get a SummerSlam 18 Curtis Axel. Oh, man. All right, uh, let's pick up here. All right, I get a WrestleMania 35 Matt Hardy. Okay, let's go with this one. All right, I get a Cataclysm Adam Cole. Okay, we'll go with this one now. All right, WrestleMania 35 Ruby Riot that time. All right, let's go with this middle one. Ah, oh, I hit the obstacle. No. Okay, so I actually made it a lot further than I was expecting, to be honest with you guys. I didn't even think I was going to make it that far. And I actually really love this little after screen here. It says it's all about the game. Bow down to the king. And then you got this text that comes down. You guys will see here in a moment. You got this text that comes down that says bring the hammer down. So that is pretty cool. Let me know if you guys decided to press your luck with this and let me know how far you guys made it. And of course, let me know if you actually got any WrestleMania 36 cards from this. I would love to know. All right, so I guess I'll end the video here with the free packs. And I want to talk a little bit about the rest of WrestleMania 36. I did finally finish watching it and I thought the second part was pretty decent. Um, the Firefly Funhouse match. I don't really know what I uh, what to think of that, you know, it was very interesting, very weird, and very confusing, you know, so I don't really know what to think too much about it. I did enjoy it, however, I just thought it was very weird and very confusing to say the least, but uh, let me know what you guys thought about WrestleMania 36 Part 2, and even Part 1. Did you guys enjoy the show overall? Let me know what your favorite match or matches was. Are you guys happy that Drew McIntyre is finally WWE World Champion? 
I would love to know. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it here for the video. I do want to thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully you went on to enjoy it. If you did, remember to smash the like button on the video. It really means so much to me. Also, be sure to subscribe to help me get to 21,000 subscribers. And don't forget to also turn on the notification bell as well to join the notification squad. And so this way you don't miss a single Supercard video from me here on the channel ever again. But anyways, guys, take care. Have an awesome rest of your day. And until next time, I'm out for now. Peace.